So, uh, have you ever been in that situation where you record your voice and you listen to it later and you can't believe how tinny and whiny you sound? That'll be me in a moment or two. Uh, rather than package up my code for some sort of demo when there's hardly anything to demo, I thought it would be fun and stressful to record a short video. So, I've been working on the engine of this game and there's not a demo yet, as I said, but there is some to show and I'm thinking I might record these short little videos by way of progress updates and to try and help me recruit beta testers which I'm going to need. So uh, I'm using uh, some libraries here that allow this to run on PC or Android. For now we'll be sticking with PC. At some point though I'll want to get this going on Android as well. So a couple of things to look at here before I walk through what I've been doing with the engine. And again what I mean by the engine is the game world, how it's defined, and moving through it. Uh, things like interacting beyond that I have not done yet. And you can tell from looking at the screen that there's an awful lot missing. But there are several panels here. The one I've been working on the most is the portal into the game world. I call that uh, the viewport for myself. This is largely finished. There's also a mini-map here. Um, this is largely finished as well. Uh, some of these blank ones, I'll just touch on what they're for. This is going to be the party panel. You'll have six characters in your party. Completely unworked right now. Um, a game menu here for things like saving the game, interacting with uh, file system, help screen, stuff like that. This large one at the bottom will be an event window. This will give feedback if you, I don't know, find a secret door or something. You'll see a little note about it here, or one of your party characters passes out to see that. This will be a text description window. Unlike a lot of games, there is going to be a narrative as you, as you move through. Each area of the map will have a text description, and I'll have some kind of parchment or scroll or something here where that's displayed. And this is an effect window where various effects that your party may be suffering from or getting benefit from will be displayed as icons that you can click on. So, uh, oh, one last note about the mini-map. You can see the entire map. This is just a little test map. Uh, there is a map editor I created before working on the game so that things like test maps are easy to generate. Uh, but normally you won't see the entire map before you move through it. There'll be a fog of war. That is not coded yet. So I'll just give a demonstration of the game engine as it stands so far by walking through this little map. And it is actually supposed to look 3D, first person 3D. It is not truly, as perhaps you can tell. It, it resembles 3D, but it's actually extremely complicated uh, trickery with pre-rendered textures. And I'm not exactly happy with some of the textures. The floor in particular doesn't look right. I do like this wall and the ceiling is okay. Uh, but that's a work in progress. And there it is, a short game engine uh, demo.